Officially, the Harry Kane and Gareth Bale show two goals apiece, two assists for Harry Kane as well. Harry Kane and Hunmin Son are record breakers in the Premier League, and Spurs are now only two points away from the top four. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. So that certainly feels good, doesn't it? The Harry Kane and Gareth Bale show officially two goals apiece for them as Tottenham cruised to victory against Crystal Palace. Spurs for Crystal Palace won. Spurs are up to sixth in the Premier League. We are now only two points away from that top four place. Of course, Champions League football next season is an absolute must. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be going through all of today's newspapers, all of the player ratings as well, and all of the match facts and stats. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. So Tottenham starting 11 against Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Hugo Lloris in goal and then Matt Doherty at right back. The centre-back pairing of Davinson Sanchez and Toby Alderweireld. Sergio Reglon at left back. And then in midfield, Harry Winks and Pierre Mihoibier. And then the attacking line of Gareth Bale. Um, Lucas Moura, Hunmin Son and Harry Kane. Three subs used in the game. Two came on in the 70th minute. Uh, played the last 20 minutes of the game. Moussa Sissoko and Eric Lamella on. Harry Winks and Gareth Bale off. And then Harry Kane was replaced in the 80th minute by Carlos Vinicius. Now, the match facts and stats. Tottenham had 64% possession to Crystal Palace's 36%. Tottenham had 12 shots to Crystal Palace's five. Uh, shots on target, five for Tottenham, one to Crystal Palace. Corners, one for Spurs and five to Crystal Palace. Tottenham's goals in the game. Now, the first one came in the 25th minute. Gareth Bale tapping from Harry Kane's cross. Another superb assist from Harry Kane in the Premier League. Um, Gareth Bale got his second goal and Tottenham's second in the 49th minute as well. And then Harry Kane, what a shot. What a goal in the 52nd minute. Unbelievable strike. Probably the goal of the season. Um, you know, certainly a goal of the season for Tottenham anyway. Unbelievable strike from Harry Kane. What more can we say as Tottenham fans about Harry Kane? He's just unbelievable. Delivers at Time and time again. And then in the 76th minute, Harry Kane got a brace, got his second, and uh, Tottenham won the game 4-1. Now, Gareth Bowers now scored six goals in his last six games in all competitions for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho is certainly turning the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium into a bit of a fortress because we have now won 24 points at home at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in this season's Premier League, only to be beaten uh, by league leaders at Manchester City who have won 35 points in this season's Premier League at the Etihad Stadium. Tottenham's fourth goal was our 100th goal in all competitions this season, becoming the second club in Europe's big five leagues to reach that tally in the 2020-2021 season after Bayern Munich who have scored 106. Crystal Palace manager Roy Hodgson has failed to win in all six of his Premier League meetings against Tottenham head coach Jose Mourinho, drawing three and losing three. The joint most he's faced a particular manager in the competition without yet winning, level with Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp. And Crystal Palace's goal from Christian Benteke was from their very first shot of the match and their only shot on target. Tottenham's Gareth Bowers now scored in each of his last three home appearances in all competitions. The first time he has done so since September 2018 for Real Madrid, and that was four in a row. And the first time for Spurs since May 2013, when, of course, he left White Hart Lane for Spain. Harry Kane has been directly involved in 40 goals in 36 games in all competitions for Tottenham this season. 24 goals and 16 assists. What an incredible record. The most of any player for any Premier League club. And Tottenham duo Harry Kane. Kane and Hunmin Son have now assisted one another for 14 Premier League goals this season, breaking Alan Shearer and Chris Sutton's all-time competition record of 13, set back in the 1994-1995 season for Blackburn Rovers. 
So let's move on to the Premier League table. Tottenham are now up to sixth in the Premier League table. We have now played 27 games. We've won 13. We've drawn six. We've lost eight. We have a goal difference of plus 18. We have 45 points. Everton are just one point above us, but they do have a game in hand. They've played 26. They have 46 points. Chelsea are just two points above us in the top four. They have played the same games as us, 27, and they have 47 points. A very happy and smiling Jose Mourinho said the following after the game. They were good goals. Harry Kane's first one was magnificent and we played good football. In the second half, we had to go with everything. And then it was a feeling that a one goal difference is not enough. And then we made it 2-1 and then went for 3-1 immediately after. He then added, I was happy with the attitude, the feeling and the naughty smile of scoring 100 goals in this season and we are a defensive team. It was a good week for us, three matches, nine points, no injuries and everyone is coming back. We are in a positive moment. I'm now going to go through all of today's newspapers showing all of the articles and reports from the Tottenham Hotspur v Crystal Palace game. This one uh, we're going to start with is from the Daily Mail and it says here... Bale and Kane bag doubles as Spurs eye at the top four. Not for the first time in recent days, the Palace were caught cold. Last night, Tottenham's ruthless Royal family delivered the killer blows. And I love this quote here from Jose Mourinho. If the stats are correct, that's 100 goals in the season, which for a very defensive and negative team isn't bad. Um, the player ratings here, Hugo Lloris got a 6, Doherty a 6, Davinson Sanchez a 5.5, Toby Edeverald a 5.5, Regulon a 7. Harry Winks a 7, Moussa Zoko sub got a 6, uh, Pierre Mahoybier got a 6.5, Gareth Bale, star man, a 9 out of 10, um, Eric Lamella sub got a 6, Lucas Moore at 7.5, Hunmin Son a 6.5, Harry Kane a 9. This next one is from the Daily Mirror on the front of the football supplement here. Ton Stoppable Bale hails his red hot Spurs pals. Gareth Bale says he is now justifying his move to Tottenham after their amazing firepower helped them break more goal-scoring records. And there is this uh, double-page report in here as well. Fit, firing and formidable. And I love seeing here the form guide now um, showing uh, the Tottenham's last five in all competitions, winning four of them, of course. That win against Wolfsburger, then the win against Burnley, then the win against Fulham, and now the win against Crystal Palace and scoring lots of goals as well and proving that Tottenham have now scored 100 goals in all competitions this season. Incredible. Um, Gareth Bale back to his brilliant best as he runs rings around poor Palace. Player ratings here. From the Daily Mirror, um, Lloris 6, Doherty 7, Alderweireld a 6, Davinson Sanchez a 6, Reglon got an 8, um, Harry Winks a 7, Pierre-Emi Hoybier a 7, Lucas Moura a 7, Gareth Bale 9, Hunmin Son a 7 and Harry Kane an 8. Man of the match here from the Daily Mirror, Gareth Bale. Now, in the last couple of reports, the Daily Star have given us fantastic reports and fantastic coverage, and they have done exactly the same again today. Love this one here. Kane and Abale, uh, dynamic duo, just too hot to handle. And, uh, you know, isn't it lovely just to see these pictures of all of the players smiling and celebrating, particularly Gareth Bale and, and, and Harry Kane as well. Um, another fantastic re report here. Double page. Harry's Bale bond. Kane and Gareth, partners in, in prime for Jose Mourinho. Harry Kane has, uh, has a new partner in crime, helping Jose Mourinho get out of jail and put Spurs back on course to nick a top four spot. Um, player ratings here from the Daily Star as well. Hugo Lloris a six, Doherty a six, Alderweireld a six, Davinson Sanchez a six, Regalon a six, Harry Winks a six, Hoybier a six, Lucas Moura a six, Gareth Bale an eight, Hunmin Son a seven and Harry Kane an eight. This next one is from the Daily Telegraph, and it says here, Bale ensures Spurs revival gathers pace. And then it says, Bale is back, was a slogan Tottenham Hotspur excitedly pumped out on their social media channels when he returned on loan from Real Madrid. And it looked like the five-month wait for him to roll back the years could be well worth the wait. Showing this uh, fantastic picture of Gareth Bale's header as well. This next one is from the Guardian newspaper and it says here, Bale and Kane give Palace double trouble in Spurs' stylish cruise. 
the connection between Harry Kane and Gareth Bale has injected fresh life into Tottenham's season. With two elite forwards operating on the same wavelength, Jose Mourinho has every reason to believe that his side can qualify for the Champions League. And it also gives this wonderful, or shows this wonderful picture of Gareth Bale's header as well. This next one here is from the Times newspaper. Double page spread here. Bale at Revival helps Spurs finally find their mojo and it has here jump off the sofa moment having already laid on two goals for Gareth Bale Harry Kane got in on the act with a sumptuous lofted finish into the top corner from outside the box a truly world-class goal um, player ratings here Hugo Lloris got a six Matt Doherty a six Davinson Sanchez a six Toby Adeveld a six Sergio Reglon an eight Harry Winks a six Pierre Emi Hoybier at 7, Gareth Bale a 9 out of 10, star man, man of the match, and Lucas Moura an 8, and Hunmin Son a 7, and Harry Kane also got a 9. Also in this report from the Times newspaper, it says most goals and assists in the Premier League this season. Harry Kane with 16 goals and 13 assists. Bruno Fernandes for Manchester United, 16 goals and 10 assists. Then you've got Hunmin Son, 13 goals and 9 assists. Mo Salah for Liverpool, 17 goals and 3 assists. And Bamford for Leeds United, 13 goals and 5 assists. And lastly, this report from the Sun newspaper, double page spread, royally caned. Harry gives Palace both barrels as does Prince of Wales. And uh, interestingly, um, the Sun newspaper um, is the only newspaper today to give Harry Kane man of the match star man. Um, he got a 10 out of 10. The other player ratings, Hugo Lloris got a 6, Doherty a 7, Regulon a 7, Sanchez a 7, uh, Toby Adevera a 6, Harry Winks a 6, Pierre Mujorbier a 7, Gareth Bale got 9 out of 10, Lucas Moura at 7. And I must say that Lucas Moura, I thought, gave absolutely everything. To, to win that ball back uh, for that first goal for Harry Kane to then assist Gareth Bale, absolutely superb. Superb pressing and superb work from Lucas Moura. I don't think that he gets enough credit when uh, when it is due. Um and finally, Hunmin Song got a 7. And as I said, um, Harry Kane got man of the match 10 out of 10. Um, Harry, Harry gave the Palace a Royal Knight bashing last night with a help, helping hand from the Prince of Wales. Um, and it's showing here all of the wonderful pictures of Tottenham celebrating and scoring the wonderful goals. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts in the comments section below. What did you make of Tottenham's performance yesterday at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? Spurs 4, Crystal Palace 1. Also put your score predictions in the comments section below as well for the Dynamo Zagreb um, home um, last 16 first leg this Thursday coming. And then, of course, it is the North London derby on Sunday at the Emirates Stadium. A huge week for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Let's hope that Tottenham can continue this winning run. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and well. Until then, come on you Spurs.